Hello, hello, welcome back to Collateral Damage. It has been a long time, guys. It has been a very long time. Um, I have been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I have not really been doing what I need to because I have been uh, binging Elden Ring. And I won't lie, it is fun. But man, is that a game where you you learn to you learn to hate yourself just a little bit. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. But I have screamed more in this game than any other game in my life. And when I say scream, I'm like, people probably could hear me from other buildings. Regardless, um, today I wanted to talk about um, the relationships because it's just starting to, it's starting to fucking eat at me because there's some things out there that I think people just need to... I think people just need to talk about because I keep seeing all these things from people and it's just... And from personal experience, it's starting to really like just get annoying honestly certain things um especially just to make it easier because i grew up in a different generation as stupid as people are going to be like oh but you're only 25 yes and i grew up in the perfect time where you went out and met people you know what i mean like you actually went out and you said hello to people okay and this and the reason why i have this up right here is because this is what i am i am a misanthrope i do not like people in general they mm, it is don't misconstrue my misanthropic behavior with absolute like hatred or i am not nice i'm very nice to people but i do find that i'd rather be alone and have no inconveniences from other humans than go out and deal with all of you no offense it's just i like being a recluse doing my own thing by myself the problem with that obviously is that i can't get a girlfriend for it don't worry about it i don't give a shit but it's like you can't meet people you can't be social and there's a lot of social skills now that have changed the market i guess you would call it and it's um and and the ah no wrong <laughs> um and the reason why I'm talking about this, God, it's uh, oh 4K is so much better than 1920. Damn, that that annoys me because I can see it, but whatever. Give me a second, actually. There we go. So um, maybe it looks a little better, regardless. So with it comes. The, re well, the reason why I'm talking about all this is because being someone who doesn't like other people in general, or at least I tolerate other people, comes to be a problem when you're trying to find a relationship. And a lot of people have, I've heard every phrase under the sun about this and the other. And when it comes to, when it comes to like, oh, wait, yeah, you know, just wait, it'll happen. Or, or, or what is it? Go here and you'll meet people or find people with your own hobby and stuff all like and all that kind of stuff and people just don't understand that right now in this day and age in 2024 as of september 2024 no offense but my chances of finding someone i find attractive with my hobbies is like 20 percent out of like the entire american population the entire american population it's probably about 20% and as rude as that might be I'm not saying they're the top 10% of people no I'm talking about the odds are just so low only because no offense I like my thin people I'm athletic I worked out for six years I'm sorry but I want someone who also worked out maybe not for six years but you were thin and you're thin I'm sorry you just well I'm not sorry um I want you to be thin because I will I just don't like unhealthy people. Sorry, I just don't. I do not find it attractive. I, I let me put it like this: it's it's bad because I I like um sometimes I actually like my anorexic people. Don't know why. I'm, don't know why. I'm just. I thought that was an interesting. Uh, it's, it's not good. It's not healthy. Don't get me wrong. I, I do want them to eat better, but for some reason, I, I I well, it's just I like my healthy thin people. I athletic a little bit or you can be a little like thicker in the sense of you you know you worked out and you're athletic sure that's fine but I don't after that though you ate too many donuts nope don't don't like them second thing with that comes I like people who play video games 
I like video games. Yeah, this is the world's a great place. However, it comes what comes with that nowadays is half the people who play video games now are insane, crazy, or part of the uh, rainbow community. And no offense, don't like any of that. I just don't. I just don't. Don't care for it. it doesn't help me whatsoever. I don't want people who have emotional baggage, or at least enough emotional baggage, you have to tell me you go to goddamn therapy. That, no. My therapy is alcohol, and I'm fine. You can say whatever you want about it, don't care. It, my, my mental problems, if, if there are many, they're not really many, it's just more of mm, emotional regulation, I guess. It's just, how would we say? I can, I can drink, take a nap, and my problems go away. Most of the people nowadays I'm attracted to, though, all have the, uh, cuckoo, cuckoo, cocoa puffs, if you know what I mean, um, in some way, shape, or form, but alongside all of this, a big aspect of this that really annoys me is the... How shall we explain this, guys? Guys, let's explain this. I'm going to tell them the secrets. Is that fine? Is that cool? Can we tell them all the secrets for guys? All right, I'm going to tell the secrets. So, first and foremost, girls, if I ask for your number, I'm interested in you in two ways, at least minimum. I am sexually attracted to you, and I'm trying to get to know you. That is for me personally. And by getting to know you, I would probably like to actually like hang out with you. Let's hang out, you know, see if this goes anywhere. I am not here to be friends. I'm not. I have many of friends. Many. I do not need girls to be friends. I'm sorry, I don't. I if I want a friend, I call up my buddy. It just be like that, okay? Okay? There is no offense, but it's not that you can't be my friend, but if but I'm not gonna even talk to you unless I'm attracted to you. I'm sorry, it's just how that is because i'm not here to waste my time if i'm gonna put effort into something because i'm 25 i'm sorry i'm 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 not waiting i'm not gonna do this game of oh let's be friends for like two years and then we can see we did no let me get your number uh i think you're attractive you want to you want to go out on a date or let's talk can i get your number nope cool bye don't care don't want to see you again I am a very straightforward person, very straightforward, like I do not, I cut through all the games and people don't like that. People really don't like that for some reason. And I'm like, I don't want to waste my time. You're not clearly, you're not the one move, move to onto the next. And you can say, well, that's rude because what is it? You can say that's rude because you're not getting to know the person. I'm like, well, I've already made my, dis what is that? What is that uh, statistic? You know if you like someone within like nine seconds. I'm a psychology major. I know if I, I know if I'll like you in goddamn like five just by talking to you. It, it does take longer than that. It takes roughly a few minutes for me. But like with how you speak and treat me, I can promise you I can tell you very quickly if I'm going to like you or not. But it is one of those things where people just like wasting your time nowadays. They really do. Um, I'm just going to put this out there because I want to, because this is the situation that bugged me. I asked the girl for her number at a coffee shop. So what happened was I just, I talked to her, had some coffee. We had a, we, she, amazing. She knew who George Carlin was and she liked him and read one of his books every year, at least one, like one book of his every year. And I'm like, wow, okay, cool person. All, obviously already cool, loves video games and likes, and she's very eccentric, very different. A few other things came up that I was not happy about, but whatever. Regardless, she was very cool and she's still very nice to talk to. But I asked her a number. She says, you can get it after you come back a few more times. So like two more times. And I said, all right, bet. So issue with that, uh, I do that eventually after like two weeks. Eventually, I am because I didn't realize there was another place they work at and they are able to swip swap, whatever. But come come to find out on the third try, she gives me a number. She says, oh, well, I just want to let you know I'm not ready to do anything or date or anything like that. And I'm just like, you just, oh, you just wasted my time. I'm not trying to be rude, but you wasted my time. If, no offense, girls and anyone who wants to say, well, well, you, she didn't, she doesn't deserve, it's like, 
what is it you don't deserve it's like no i don't but you could have just not done this like three week adventure of me spending money here if you just said in the beginning which you probably need to say like hey especially if you want to give a guy his number sorry i'm gonna tell you a little secret most of the time if a guy's just getting your number and he's never met you before he's interested in you in some way shape or form he's interested in you it just is what it is and it's just annoying because like i said my time was wasted i don't like that because in that time i could have been saying 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 hello to someone else honestly and it's really annoying but the, also the biggest problem here is this person was a diamond in the rough they were the needle in the haystack they were someone that was cute thin loved video games had a very awesome personality that was like the sunlight to my dark clouds i guess you would call it and it was great it was awesome but then it just it just slowly went downhill from there because when you tell someone oh after all this time and effort you put into oh i'm not even ready to date uh, that's a that's a problem and we and eventually we, we we still talked a little bit but we had to discuss a little things about why this was kind of an issue because it's like yo why would you do this like next time if you tell someone just tell them outright like hey if you want my number hey i'm, I'm single and i'm staying single they and yes yeah, she just got up she just she just got out of a relationship apparently really bad one but that's where you have to say hey i'm not like and that's the where that's where people don't like me for some reason because i am extremely straightforward i say i'm single i'm ready to mingle let's i'm here to talk to you is that cool no all right then i'm moving on and people people sorry people hate that for some reason i don't know why because i'm just like that's what i'm trying to avoid is people who waste my time that was three weeks i could have done a lot more in three weeks than just spend my time there but regardless in the and i know this is kind of just useless information but the reason why it's funny is because people are trying to people now are trying to be like well you're supposed to court and stuff i'm like yes i would I would if the people were actually legitimate and honest, straightforward about what they were saying. They were not. They they kind of just BS their way through this, and it's kind of annoying. And then come to find out, they get annoyed when I apparently talk to another one of their coworkers and ask for their number. I'm sorry, but I thought I was single and we were not dating. So I'm going to tell a little secret here, girls, guys, whoever you want to date. If a guy is single and he is a straightforward person he is going to talk to as many people as he wishes if he is single if he is not dating you there's nothing you can say that will stop him from whatever he does if he wants to ask her number her number and her number at the same time go for it i do not care and i think that's legitimate on anyone's per on that is anyone's prerogative because at that point you are single I'm sorry, but and I'm not saying it's a competition, but you do gotta you gotta show that you're worth someone's time. Especially if the man's putting in his effort to get your number and talk to you. Alright. But then don't get mad when he says, Oh, you're not it. Next one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. People don't like that, but that's the world. If I'm gonna put my effort in, I'm gonna make it I'm gonna do what I wish. If I'm single and you don't wanna date me and you say that, I'm gonna be like, oh right, cool. To your co-worker but people get mad about it and i get why it's kind of rude but it's also like well you said no so moving on people don't like i guess then you moved on so quick the thing that annoys me is that something is clearly a lie here if you care so much about what i do after you say you don't want to date especially if i'm talking to other people then you know, sadly, because it's a co-worker of yours, you either lied about how much you like me, or you lied about your interest. Or, I don't know, you're jealous, but if you're jealous, then that's a clear problem you got. <laughs> I, I'm i sorry. And I, I won't lie, I wasn't the nicest sometimes, but it's still just kind of... I don't know, 
it's just weird. It's strange, strange situation. But dating in this new, dating this new social situations are weird because dating apps don't work. Half of those are bots. Thank you, freaking Tinder. God damn, there's a lot of bots there. After that, dating apps are useless. Um, and I will say the thing that's annoying is when people are like, "Oh, well, go here and here," and I'm like, that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that. It doesn't change the fact that I like video games and stuff, and a lot of people in this world, especially in my little town, don't. Or at least, if they do, they're mm, probably lesbian or bi or something like that. And I'm just like, nope, don't want to deal with that. Don't want to deal with it, or just, I can't. So it's, go to church. No, I'm not wasting, on no offense, I'm not wasting my Sunday. I have two days off, I'm using them. I'm using them like I want. Oh, well, you have to go out and meet somebody. Well, yeah, I clearly, but I don't want to spend money in this economy. And then half the people you even meet are just not, no offense, not my type. So it's really, mm, the world really got to a point where it just went, all of these options. Nope, it's this right here. These, these are your few, and they're probably not even living in your area. That's the thing, that's the real kicker of it. If I wanted to... The stupid thing about it is I've had I would have a better situation if I was gay, and I would have a far better situation being straight if I was in a big city. Like seriously, it would have been. But I'm in a small town that sucked ass, so it is what it is. Either way, I hope you all have fun. I just wanted to explain all this bullshit because it's pissing me off. But it is what it is. I hope you all have fun. Don't know. I just I need to make a video about it because I need to get it off my chest. Um, I had some guys help me through this because. I was really confused and annoyed and they were just like, oh no, you're not crazy. You're, 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 you're normal. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh Lord. But it is what it is. Or at least we both agree that as men, we were, we're straightforward. Like if you don't, if you say no, we're going to say cool and move on. Either way, I'll see y'all later. All right. Peace.